Hello, everyone. Welcome. It is Thursday. Yay. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. I forgot to adjust the cat underneath this. Oh, wow. That one's going crazy. I need to delete him. <laughs> and we are going to move our Santa cat, Santa Bongo cat, back to its place. We have with us today Georgie. Um, I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> We're stamping before anything else, a.k.a. Stamping Bay. A mother-daughter crafting team that likes to laugh and craft. So if you're watching us for the first time, uh, we like to keep it fun and casual during these lives. It's a great time for us to interact with you. And then um, we also have recorded videos that you can always check out. We post those like every Monday. We call them Make It In Minutes Mondays because they're pretty easy to make in a short amount of time. Pretty so, quick. Um, welcome. Yay. We are going to make some fun <laughs> projects today. Mom's going to show you here. Um, what yes. else do you want to talk about before um, we get started? Well, we have a couple announcements from Stampin' Up! Some specials going on. Yeah, so it's, today's December 1st, mm -hmm. and tomorrow's Mom's birthday. Yay! <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I just had to throw that in there, because that's what's exciting about December, is that yeah. it's Mom's birthday, yeah. and then Abby's birthday is at the end of the month. It is. Uh, but... So, December 1st is a really cool time because a lot of retiring crafting products are going on sale for Stampin' Up! So... Absolutely. We have uh, a lot of good things. There's up to like 60% off of oh some gosh, items. Yes. And we went live a couple weeks ago and walked through like the catalog that's going to be retiring, which mm -hmm. mom... Here, I'll put this down on the table. Yeah. Uh, this catalog is retiring. So we did a walkthrough, like Kayla said a couple weeks ago, um, showing you exactly what was discounted, what's carrying over, and what is retiring. Um, those went on sale today. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys were able to get in on some of those specials. Like Kayla said, up to 60% off on some of the items. Yeah. The clearance rack, um, which is out there all the time, um, had another refresh today as well so very exciting mm -hmm. time yeah lots of good stuff yes. and then we also updated our new product of the month mm -hmm. which is exciting so we're giving away a whole um bolt of the what balmy me blue and white yeah where? double stitch ribbon i, I ordered a whole I bunch of them that's what it's called yeah right here so that's super cute ribbon and this we're giving one. that away with any purchase for the month of december december yes yeah. so very exciting um, we also have, um, what else is going on? I don't know. Oh, oh. Jesus. Hello. What was that? Oh, I thought it was a cat Whew. that did that. No. Um, oh, celebration is around the corner. That's starting in January. So you guys, it's perfect time to get some good mm -hmm. supplies, crafting supplies, get some stuff now while it's on discount and, um, yeah, celebration is a wonderful oh, time of year. It's not working. I'm trying to grab us. It's not working. Oh, we're really tiny. We're really tiny, but it really does look tiny. like Kathy's here. Mary Jo, Jill. Hello. Hi guys. Um, so good to see you who all. Who was it that made, Melanie said your million dollar set has to be kitties when the day arrives. Yeah. <laughs> Only can hope. Only can hope, <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> Jody, hello. Hi, friends. Hi, Holly. Hi, Bernie. So, um... Hello, everyone. Wow, that is really blurry. There we go. It was out of focus. Was it? Okay. Um, but I was gonna say something. Okay. Um, celebration. Oh, one thing I do want to say yeah. is that if you guys have ever thought about uh, joining Stampin' Up!, getting the product at a discount, <laughs> was attached to her, face, her, her lip... I'm getting the product at a discount that if you decide you want to join up and be a part of our team, we would love to have you. Um, no requirements. We're no pressure. We're just out to have fun and enjoy um, crafting together. But now would be a really good time just because you can get those clearance items, those discounted items in on the starter kit. And that would really maximize your value of that starter kit for $99. You get $125 in product. Um, we would love to have you on our team because mm -hmm. we have a lot of fun. So and there's no other obligation outside of there it. There isn't. We no pressure from us, our uplines, nothing. If you decide it's not for you to get that discount, then that's fine. No worries. So what are we doing? I don't know. You're no, you're the, you're oh. the one that's okay. That's, We're all good. Yeah. All right, product of the month. All right, I think we are ready to start on our demo. Um, 
if you guys do not have a demonstrator and do not have a catalog coming to you, let us know and we'll get one yeah. off to you. We can't show you what's inside yeah, this we line, can't. but if you want to look for yourself, we can send one off to you. Yes, absolutely. So just let us know. Um, we would love to send one out to you. Leave a comment. Um, mm -hmm. Message us. Exactly. So we got to place an order yet for these. We haven't done that yet. Um, we're trying to decide what we're going to be ordering ourselves here because being a demonstrator um, means that we get pre-order. We get to order stuff out of that mini catalog before any customers do. So that's another little perk of being uh, uh, a demonstrator. So, okay, again, we have a video out there from a couple weeks ago, the product walkthrough of the mini catalog. So you guys can check that out as well. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so moving on tonight's project, we're going to be making these two fun things here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be taking uh, part in a blog hop that we do for the Paper Pumpkin every month. It's the first Friday of the month. What's Paper Pumpkin, Mom? Paper Pumpkin is this fabulous kit that arrives to your doorstep right every to your month. Doorstep. Um, it doesn't include all of this, but <laughs> these are my supplies for the card. Um, it comes with all the stuff that you need to create whatever project is in there. Um, this month it is tags, but being a part of this blog hop, we are going to be doing a different alternative that you can do with those gift tags. Just shows you the versatility of and, this kit. Yeah, so it's really good if you're a new beginner crafter and you're just like, I need somebody to tell me what to do. This is really good for you because it Perfect. has step-by-step -step instructions in it, all the supplies you need. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to take it up a notch after you feel a little bit more comfortable with crafting, you can make some alternatives like mom is about Absolutely. to show us. And there are groups out there that will help you give other uh, ideas, some inspiration. Um, if you are ever interested in doing this, um, we got some more information that we can post out there. Next month's uh, Paper Pumpkin is going to be called Good Things Come in Small Packages. So basically for this paper pumpkin, it's going to be little, tiny, little um, gift card holders that are little boxes. But another fun thing is that they're going to be having these um, cards and envelopes that are going to be an additional um, item that you can purchase along with it. Now in order to get these items, you have to be a current subscriber for Paper Pumpkin. So putting that out there. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. I already got some birthday cards. I'm I was going to say you have you some before. coming in the mail too because yeah. Jill said that she sent something off oh, for you. Thank you. Thank you. So this card was made by Stephanie Alton. She is so good. She's part of our Stamping Bay uh, birthday club. So um, if you're a part of our exclusive group, Facebook group, mm -hmm, you can uh, sign up to be on the birthday list and each month uh, people send birthday cards and out. the the group is open to anyone it is it certainly it's a fun is. community it is um so this one's from stephanie alton i thought it was so adorable so cute. i think this little birdie is so i cute. love that birdie i, I remember too. what's that stamp set because i remember it's looking it's retiring and i made a comment and i'm like oh he's got little boots <laughs> he's got little boots and i'm like oh look at him he's just singing his little heart out <laughs> he's so cute Thank you, Stephanie. Just got these today. Look at this beautiful card. Now, this designer, is, or it's a vellum. Um, this was part of a celebration, I believe, a while ago. And this is from Janice Walsh. And she goes, <laughs> this is so cute. We hope today is the best. Filled with laughter. Cats, loved ones. <laughs> and, oh, by the way, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are more important. Cats. They don't put calories. <laughs> they don't put fat on your body. Yeah, no, exactly. it's kidding. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. And this is from Jennifer this Walsh. This is from Jennifer. They're a, a mother-daughter duo. Yes, they are. And, oh, my gosh, this is really stunning. It's very, uh, I don't, I don't, well, clean and simple and yep. crisp and, oh, my gosh. And, and it's so elegant. I just want to. Very elegant. Yes. Point out that she put yeah. paws. That's so, that's so cute. On the envelope. Oh, <laughs> and by the way, I'm going to get some of these paws. To paw go. prints on her tattoo. Little paw prints on the tattoo that are going to be going up there. Because I thought it looks kind of naked. Kayla and I got matching tattoos in Vegas earlier this year. Same one. It's and Charlie. It's Charlie and now Georgie. Um, but I want to get paw prints eventually on mine. Anyhow, this beautiful card from Jennifer Walsh. Thank you so much. It is so gorgeous. And this is that new um, vellum that we have. Or it's now probably going to be retired. Uh, yeah. So, oh, Charlie, he's underneath the table. Okay, 
I want to tell you guys, you see this beautiful bow right here? Guess who tied it? Me. <laughs> Just put <laughs> lipstick on right now, you guys. Uh -huh. What the heck? It's mom's lipstick. Oh, yeah, it is mine, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. I'm sure they yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I did this all by myself, and you guys are going to watch me do it again tonight. No, I was impressed with her, because she tied a red one Yeah. before, and I was like, wow, that actually, this she's one. like, it took me a while. Because I have this on here, too. Mm. See? I did this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't decide if I liked the red one or that one. Um, where did the card go? Oh, yeah. Jean said subdued colors, soft right. and stunning. And Jill right. said, wow, Very I'm pretty. so impressed. I know. Hi, Julie. Um, so I know who sent the video. Was it J J Jill? Was it you that sent it to me? Or was it Brene? Because I know you both have sent me Julie Gilson's um, tips on how to do bow, uh, to do bows, how to tie the ribbon. So I used to do it before. I've tried it before her way. For some reason, I couldn't get it, but now it's kind of clicking. <laughs> Finally, and, and I, then let's see how long it stays in that brain of hers. And uh, Julie Diamato does this as well. She does it the same way, puts her fingers in there. Anyway, we're going to give it a whirl tonight. You guys are going to probably, it probably won't work because we're going to be live. Because you're going to be on camera. Yeah, and exactly. And other people are watching. Exactly, because that's the way life goes. All right, so we're going to get started. All the measurements for this are going to be up on our blog tomorrow morning. We have a post that's going to go live along with some other really cool um, people, a part of this all things paper pumpkin group that we are a part of. So yes. it's a blog hop. So yes. there will be some things that you can check out to see what else you can yes. make with this kit. And what's really nice about this blog hop is that you have to do one 3D item and a, a, a card to go with it. So that's why it's always two items first Friday of the month. Make sure you're following us, you guys, so that you get um, notifications um, when these go uh, live. So we're going to start out with this cute card. It's very quick and simple. Um, using the stamp set and these two items from the kit and um, did a little stamping on the inside as well. So basic supplies. We just got our basic um, layout the five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter I'm going to do some stamping on both of these two pieces here so I need my scrap paper yep. right here oh Toblerone oh I love it yum is anybody else like this candy oh, God, it's my I favorite. used to not like it and then I don't know I don't know what made me decide to eat it but I, now I, I love it it's so good and actually, when I was in Amsterdam 22 years ago, I got one that was, like, this big. It was humongous. <laughs> For context. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. that. Yeah. It, <laughs> humongous. The, and, and, oh, God, it was so good. Um, what am I looking Carolyn for? Carolyn loves it. Black ink. Memento. Memento. I put it back. Oh, did you? Oh, that would explain. There you go. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so um, very, very big. So this is a stamp, big, huge stamp, and I'm just going to tap this. Oh, we're off camera. We're really close to the table Yeah, today, um, because it's with the foc It's a focus thing. Oh. Yeah. It, okay. it loses focus if it's too far away and everything looks blurry. Okay, sorry guys. I will try to remember that my table is very narrow right here. Okay, so this piece is going to go on the inside. I am just going to stamp. In the, wow, that did not work out very good. Look at that. Oh, Weird. Hello. Hold Echo. on. Let's see. Now, this was kind of acting kind of funny for me earlier today, so I'm going to get my piercing mat out. And if you're confused on where we're getting all these comments from, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. So if you're confused, you're like, who the heck? I don't see that comment because we're on both platforms. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Wow, I can't get over how close we are here, guys. This is crazy. All right, so I'm going to stamp this Changing up again. Changing it up for her. I got to keep her on her toes. Yeah, I guess you do. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this just in the corner here. And for some reason, I don't know why this isn't... This was working out really good earlier today, and now it's not stamping very good. I think it looks good. So we're going to leave it. All right, so that's for the inside. And then for our piece that goes on the outside, we're just going to randomly stamp um, same image randomly all over the front of this. 
Now we're going to want to make sure we go off what? You just use the most complicated words to oh, say. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. Anyway. Oh, I'm just talking. It's just me, guys. Hi, Mary. She said, Nancy, I'm sending your birthday card Saturday. Happy birthday to us. Oh. Happy Yay. birthday, Mary. Happy birthday. I got. I honestly got to get on there and send out everybody's birthday cards for this month, so I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so here we have this. Now I'm going to stamp this. Hopefully, this will look okay right in the middle. If you mess up, you now, put an embellishment on it. Another good thing is um, using the Stamparatus is really good for images that don't come out very clear. If you use the Stamparatus, you can re-stamp it over again and not have any issues of it not lining up properly. However, with this technique, it's going to be a little hard because <laughs> I'm moving my card around a lot. So, um, but this actually, I don't know why. I did notice a couple of other people were having um, funky issues with their stamp set. Um, I think it looks okay. This big image, but I I'm okay with it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, to each their own. And you don't have to have the deer and stuff ex express. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Kayla. I was reading as I was talking you clearly. Were. You don't have to have the deer facing the same way each time. You don't. Um, kind of adds more to the uniqueness of the card. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the more you rotate it around, like Kayla said, just adds a little bit of uniqueness. And it makes it look more, I don't know. More like, like authentic packaging yeah, type. Uh, yes, exactly. Packaging. I was thinking wrapping paper. Oh. But no. you got it. Yeah. Well, right. it's kind of wrapping. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, now I'm going to move up and do this top one over here. Get, get the good, feet down. Get a good press on there. Now with our photopolymer, we don't have any little rubber underneath it to have give it a little bit of extra cushion to give it a push to make sure that our crisp images are showing through. So that's why we have our piercing mat on here. Well, got a little close on that one, didn't you? I did, but that's okay. I'm gonna make a nice big bow that they're not even gonna notice. All right. Two more. Let's see here, I'm gonna do this one right here. You're like literally copying the same layout that you I am. Did on. I'm looking over there. I'm like, what did I do? Because, you know, I got to make things easy for myself. Otherwise, you know, if I'm multitasking, it never fails. When you get on a Facebook Live, you guys, something's going to happen. Yeah, Just okay. saying. It's okay. Okay, here we go. How are your weeks going? We are in December. That means it's holiday season. How was Thanksgiving? Because we didn't get to see you on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Give us all the updates. I want to know. Yes, absolutely. We uh, had a really good time with my dad and uh, really enjoyed having him here. He left on Monday. I'm going to put this over here. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We ended up going to the apple orchard again um, because I had bought a apple pie at the beginning, oh, I don't know, maybe beginning of November. And we had it on Thanksgiving, oh, and it was so, so good. good that we had to go back and get more. I am looking for the gold ribbon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's it. right in front of her. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, guys. So here it goes. Moment here of truth. Here comes the test. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna to give this a whirl while we're doing this live. Everybody, if you're new here, I'm very bow challenged when it comes to tying on specific things like this paper and on here. Look at that, I did that all by myself. I'm so She's proud. normally a faux <gasps> bow gal. I am. Which means you take a piece of the bow or the ribbon and you cut it off and make it fit, like look like it's I'm fitting around up. the project. And then she ties a bow separately and puts it on with a glue dot. Right, right. Okay, so I'm gonna come at this a different way than I did on my other ones. Why? I don't know. Then you're not going to get the same result. I am going to try. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we have that. Still kind of wonky. I wouldn't say that's too shabby. Mm, not too bad, you guys, especially for Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said fingers crossed for your bow tying. I know. I know. 
Hi, Hi Karen. Look at this. Okay, now I'm going to do the Julie Gilson thing here and Julie DiMario. She's Paper Pixie. They do this as well. And I think what I was doing wrong in the past when, when I was doing this, I wasn't holding these down very well. Hold on. Let me get my finger in there. Holding what down? The the these the, bond, loops. the ear holes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not liking this. Ear holes. The ear holes. Oh, so annoying. The bunny the bunny ears. Like Is that what you're else. trying to say? Yeah. The ear holes. The ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. hole, the holes though. Like the holes of the ears. No, I, I totally get it. I thought your bow looked good. Uh, Why did you untie it? Because I wasn't getting very tight. Okay. So, my thing that I, I was overthinking is the middle. The middle, trying to get mm. that look really nice. So What I overthink is that there's always one tail on top and one tail on bottom. Yeah, and that And that gets, drives me nuts. It drives me bonkers, too. <laughs> I want them to both come from behind. Yep. <laughs> You're out here. of frame. And I might see you guys. I don't like that this camera is out of focus. Okay, so we have this. See, this is my problem right here. <clears throat> Let's see. I wonder if I can sneak this guy through here. I'm going to see what happens, you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see, see what this looks like. So, I don't know if she's actually struggling. No, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm not struggling. I'm just trying to make it look more pretty. Okay. See, but I was able to do it. You look did. At that. Yeah, you I did. did. It looks very nice. Normally, it would take me about 25 tries. See? Look at that. Yeah. Uh, not too mm -hmm. bad. Okay. Now my thing is, is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more. And then it's still going to look wonky. So. How, how are you going to twist it? Well, I don't know. That's why I was very confused on why you were trying a different way. Because it's... No, but it, that just happened. Yeah, I know. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> and we'll just leave it like this. <laughs> Hold on, guys. See, I'm oh telling you. Okay, so now I'm going to take this up. You guys, you do you on your bows. Huh. You do you. I'm going to do me on you my bows. You do you, bud. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And you know what? It's okay if they're different and not perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> but this is a really cute bow. That is a cute bow. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we're going to take... I'm impressed. I know. So am I. I did it. I did it. All right, so now we need glue. You did it. There we go. Oh, like we glue. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of this green glue. A little bit goes a long ways. Beautiful. Right, like that. And we're gonna put this on the inside. I love that little extra line you did there. I, I do that all the time, I don't know why. I do the same. Thing. You think I would get the edges, but I don't know, for some reason I just, don't get the edge. So I'm like, all right, got to get some over there because we can't have any of the bits and pieces coming off. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this. <laughs> Sandy said, good job. I know, I see. <laughs> it's pretty exciting when something, you know, how many years have I been <laughs> doing this? Uh, we were talking, we are trying to think of combined years of how long we were doing, we've been crafting. Yeah. And so I would say... Yeah, we didn't even come Probably up with the Probably coming number. up on like 20 years for me. How, how long for you do you oh think gosh. you've been crafting since before 20, I was born? 2002? 2003? You, I thought you were doing uh, scrapbooks before. Well, I was doing scrapbooking, but not um, stamping. Card making? Card so making, then yeah. A combined total of 40 years stamping. Oh. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. My gosh. So that means we've been sta stamping like the same amount of time then. Well, yeah. Because when I learned, you learned. Interesting. Mm hmm All right. So here. Oh. There we go. She going to do the extra line? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Why don't you do the extra line on this side? Because I get it close over here. Oh, okay. Over there, I don't. Okay. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Why I'm always giving you crap for your uh She does your craft. You guys, this is my life. See what I have to live with? Jenny said that's the best bow I've ever seen you do. Oh thanks! <laughs> I agree. It's <laughs> so pretty. Uh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cover back on my glue, otherwise it's gonna get all plugged. Jill, she's like, Kayla Curry, you aren't even twenty years old, are you? <laughs> 
I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm closer to 30. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I'm funny. closer to 30 than I'm, I am 20. It's crazy, isn't it? At least I think it is, anyhow, yeah. but, you know. Karen said, the little differences are what makes our cards unique and special. At least that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I completely agree with you. All right. Stamps. Where are the stamps? <laughs> On the blocks. Oh, that's right. They're they right are. there in front of you. <laughs> you guys. Oh, guys, my cu- my Ooh. nails match the kit. Oh, my gosh. Don't pay attention to that. They match the kit. Oh, I can't. Okay. You can go like this. Look. Oh, they match. And they're sparkly. And you didn't even try to plan that And either. I didn't. No, you didn't. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> FYI, these are really sticky. Okay. So, now I'm going to stamp my image in Cherry Cobbler. And I do have to tell you guys, oh my gosh, I went to go use my cherry cobbler the other day. Wow, it was super dry. I um, guess I don't use it very often. Well, maybe for the holiday season, but now the holiday season is almost over. Okay, so... Don't say that. We still have the whole I month know. of December. Okay, so we have our circle that was part of our paper pumpkin kit. So I'm just going to stamp this kind of on the lower end of the circle. And call that good mess up there so pretty beautiful it is and then we're gonna adhere are you gonna sneeze no you're just oh. like, it is it is um we're gonna take our little sand hat which was one of the die cuts as well in the kit oh what do we need to do to make this thing not be so blurry well it's out of focus when your hands are really close to it okay so we're going to put that right on there. So it looks like a little Santa hat sitting right on top of that little beautiful Merry Christmas. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. And I'm going to place it right on the front of my card. Wow, this is brown stained. Oh yeah, it's from the black and the red. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave like a little tunnel here for that ribbon um, to sit through. So I'm just going to put a couple dimensionals on the top. And on the bottom, and then one for the hat. I know, I could use more. Ooh, look, I got red ink. Oh, look at that, there it is, found it. Oh. I'm like getting red ink on stuff, oh. and I don't know where it is. Oh, she's got five dimensionals. So, got her dimensional counter up here on the top corner of our screen. And that means <laughs> that we, uh, mom loves dimensionals. Yes. And so we give her a lot of grief. A lot of grief over them. You do. So we've got five. Remember that time you did like a thousand? Um, remember that time and it was like thirty? She did thirty five on one card. On one card. I don't sure. even know what that card was. When I want this to turn, it doesn't turn. No, because you didn't tie it to make it turn. Do you think I intentionally meant for that to go like that? No, but you were trying a different technique. No, I did it the second time I did it. I did it the same way I did it on the other. Yeah, don't ask me. She's I still don't know. Challenge in I, my opinion. I totally am. Okay, so we're going to need our Wink of Stella, and then we're also going to take and add some of these red rhinestones. These are in our annual catalog. Let's see if I can get them out of this little package right here. Julie DiMatteo had this wonderful um, idea of this is a passport uh, plastic envelope that you can get from Avery. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna have to replay that one. <laughs> oh, I almost peed my pants. <laughs> Come here. You weren't supposed to get scared. <laughs> Come in and say hi. This is Andy, my son. He totally scared us. He was just standing there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Woo, we're gonna have to replay that. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you guys. Mom was so much more scared than oh. I was. I think she got scared because I was scared. <laughs> I did. <gasps> <laughs> I look and then all of a sudden there was feet and I'm just like, oh. You were scared so I got 
got scared. I saw a black figure outside because he's wearing a black shirt. Oh, oh my god. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> what, the what the hell did I miss? <laughs> Replay later, but no, it was Andy. He scared oh the dickens god. out of us. Oh god, I can't wait to see my face. I, I watched it real time in the camera. It was really oh. funny. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're gonna take the week of Stella and put it on our red part. <laughs> it's not even Halloween. Oh what my the? gosh. Oh my gosh. Carolyn goes on to you guys are hilarious. I love <laughs> Gosh. All right, there we have it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh. I made it. I do like this one better though, <laughs> definitely. Like dead silent. I did. Yeah, he just was standing there, just stoic <laughs> and just standing there. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so we got these two cards done. <sighs> Moving on to our three D item. That's a first. I'm oh so sorry. Lord. That's a first. Never been scared on a live stream. Okay, we do like to laugh and craft, but this was a little... That was a little too much. <laughs> that was I don't like being scared while Ooh. crafting. Wow. It's Melanie so said a red ribbon would look nice, too. Yes, exactly. And that's that's what I did, too, earlier. Um, well, I did the box first, and then I created the card later. <coughs> um, but you definitely could use the red ribbon. It'll look just as beautiful. Um, I, I wanted to use the gold because I haven't used the gold for a while. So, yes. All right, so now we're actually going to be moving on to this, uh, whoops, sorry, 3D item. Get some of this stuff out of the way. This is a hand sanitizer box right here. Now, I know I made two of these boxes in the past. Right here is one of them. And then I made a blue and white one. Um, she can't find it. I can't find the video. I can't find the tutorial. But thankfully, I have this box here, so I totally deconstructed it so I can recreate it again. But um, I have the measurements here, and we will have them posted tomorrow. But I'm just going to keep these out um, for my uh, reference here, because we're going to take our cardstock. <laughs> Whew. I keep having flashbacks. Yeah, she does. Oh my gosh. Don't you hate that when you do that? But it's so funny because maybe I was like screaming out of sympathy. I don't know. What? I, I think I do that, to be honest with you, because when I was married to the kids' dad, he woke up in the middle of the night from a nightmare. And he's sleeping here, I'm sleeping here. He woke up and he sat straight up out of bed and he went, ah! And then I just, out of a dead sleep, sat up and I was like, blah! Uh, screaming, screaming out, and then we, then it, we, we realize we look at each other, and then we just start laughing in the middle of the night. So I don't know, maybe I'm a sympathy screamer. screamer. I, I scream don't with want you. Me to scream alone. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I had no reason to be screaming. Oh, okay. Here we go. Trimmer. So this piece right here is six and a half by five and a half. So I'm just looking, okay, here we go. I gotta get this up in front of me so I know what I'm doing here, guys. All right, so on the five and a half side, we are gonna score at one inch. Whew, wow, never dull, never dull. One inch, and then I'm gonna turn it around here as if I scored it here on the one inch line. I'm gonna slide it down to the four inch line. Using your scoring blade, score. And then we're going to slide it down one more inch to the five inch mark. Okay. Then we're going to turn it on the six and a half inch side. We're going to score at two inches. Three. We're going to do five inch. Whew, Kayla. I know. What the heck? I don't, I don't know. And then six for our last one. So it was, th let's see here, it was three, no, two, three, five, and six. Okay, we're done with that. So now what I'm going to do, <laughs> <she's sorry. laughs> oh, my God. oh, Lord, have mercy. You saw Mom's face. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> what everybody saw. Oh my lord. You're gonna be oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh you guys.
guys. We try to keep it as professional as we can, but it sometimes it just don't work. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I made some of these for a craft show that's coming up a week from Sunday. And so I made a whole bunch of these. I did my my step by step. Uh, I don't. What do you call that? Um, Oh, I, I the the word just went right out the window. Where you do it step by step. I don't know. <laughs> Tutorial. No. Tutorial. I don't know what are you trying to say. I don't even know. It's like she's trying to talk. It's like she's trying to speak. To you. <laughs> okay, I got to get this on here right. Oh, oh. Yep. Oh, got it on the wrong side here. You got to have the the one inch side on the bottom because that's going to be the bottom of the box and then She's you get your half inch up here don't make any cuts right now just wait just watch just, yes just watch for okay. a second she'll tell you the boxes that are gonna go bye bye exactly so I'm just gonna put an X on these ones right here okay so out of that this is where the half inch is this is where the one inch is this is the bottom so these are the squares that we're gonna need to cut out all right okay now I'm gonna do my my burnishing. Where is my bone folder? Okay, we're gonna use this lovely one right here. So I'm gonna do my burnishing and then what I'm gonna do <clears throat> before I cut these out, I'm gonna do some stamping first. And now I need a Kleenex because now my nose decides it's gonna run. Okay. Like that. Is that crumb cake cardstock? It certainly is. Okay. Yeah, because so we, we don't really that. have the the what was that? Excuse me. That brown, yes. brown cardstock called that you could get. Oh, craft craft cardstock. We, we do. used to have it. Well, I think we still have it. it. Do we? Yeah, I think it's still available. I like craft cardstock. I do too. I really do. It gives it. I feel like it gives it a more, especially like Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Christmassy feel. Because it reminds me of when people wrap Wrapping. packages. Yeah. Yep. All right. So now we're going to take our image again, and we're going to do some stamping. And that's stuck on there. Thanks. Yeah. You're so strong. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring in my scrap paper again. Okay. <laughs> Jean, <laughs> for those of you who came in late and need to go back and watch it, Kayla, oh, gosh. <laughs> Kayla and Nancy had a scare. <laughs> I'm excited to see my yeah. my reaction, what you guys saw um, <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, gonna, I think I'm gonna trim it out <clears throat> and then. Post Are you serious? No, yeah. don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so this part, I'm I'm gonna pay attention to on my front of my box, which is the piece that doesn't have this piece. So we're gonna be cutting this piece apart. Gosh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? This right here, this bottom piece right here is going to be my front ones. So I want to make sure that my image that I'm stamping on here is going to be the right side up. You can do whatever you want, but for me it just made sense to have the words the correct direction. So everything else, um, I think what I did on my lid, yeah, I did my lid that way as well. So I'll show you how I did that in a moment here. Jody says she likes the look of the black memento on crumb cake. Yeah, it's really pretty. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna just stamp this right here. You can stamp right over the score lines. Okay, and bear with me. I think I'm, I got, you got to tell me if I'm out of out of the frame. Yeah, I got you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Oh, Ooh. she overlapped. That got really close. That got super close here. Really close. This one. I paid attention. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna do an upside down one. Why not? Change her up. Change it up. Switcher. Give her the switcheroo. You switch her rule. All right. So now I have this piece right here, and that's the the front. Tab. That's gonna be the front tab. So when it folds over, yep. I'm gonna do it this way. And if you don't have a design all the better because then you don't have to worry about it. Honestly, I don't even think you really need to you, worry about it. I'm I just, mean, maybe the front, but like, oh yeah, I guess. I'm just kind of anal that way, I guess. I'm too like, oh, I should have done it the right way or, you know, just in case. 
All right, I think that should be good. Good enough for me. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut these pieces out. I am going to use my big scissors. We're gonna cut up and straight up like that. I'm gonna cut these corners. I'm gonna give them a miter a little bit. Just helps with the bulk. Cut straight. Helps with the bulk when you you uh, fold it. So if you're confused on what she means, because when the corners come together, when you fold the box closed, they sometimes will rub against each other and it won't sit as Ooh, close and nice together. Ex yeah. Exactly. All right. So now I'm gonna cut straight down. If this is helpful for you, if you're liking this kind of stuff, I really suggest hitting that subscribe button so you get notifications when we're live next if you're over on YouTube. And then Facebook, make sure you hit that follow button. We also have an exclusive Facebook group. Mom's confused. I am. Um, hold on one moment. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Hold on. I think I'm supposed to take this one off as well. Hold on. No, I am not. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's messing me up is the design, yeah. the stamping. So I'm like, wait a minute, where am I? So we also have an exclusive Facebook group that we love to hang out and post pictures of crafts. We we don't just post in there. Other people can post their crafts in there as well. So it's a fun little community. I invite you to join. It is. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to cut this off as well. Okay, so now I just need to cut this flap right in the middle. This is going to be the front of the box. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. Just like that. Okay, so now we have those. Now we're going to come down at the bottom and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Cut straight up to that first score line. And here. Now, what I like to do is I like to come in with my smaller scissor and do the mitering. I'm going to flip it over. You can do it with bigger scissors. She's you can. Just weird. I just do it this way. She's weird. I am. I am. I'll be the first one to admit it. So I don't know if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, but um, <laughs> I found a really cool item on Amazon today. <laughs> she uh -huh. found even a better one too. Oh, and but it, she didn't post that one. No, I didn't. Um, so Bernie sent me about a week ago. She sent me a Bob Ross pancake maker and I was like oh my gosh I gotta have it <laughs> Caleb's like no 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 pancake maker a pancake maker but With the his fun face. his face the pancakes come in the shape of Bob Ross's face I'm like oh my gosh that is so cool so when I was out there I saw they have a toaster that toasts Bob Ross's face on toast toast and I'm in need of a new toaster, so, you know. We're not getting <laughs> But how Bob fun! Ross. How fun! I doubt it works. How fun. Like, how do they just... I don't... It I just don't. does. It just does. Okay, so on these tabs, what I did is I took off maybe an eighth of an inch, just to make them a little bit tinier. It makes it easier also for when we're tucking them in on the top of the box. And then they don't overlap and hit each other and all that kind of silly stuff. Kathy okay. said, anyone else getting more snow than me? Uh, she's in the Colorado mountains. I Ooh. bet you probably have more snow than us. I bet you you we do. We just got five inches. Yeah, we on did. Monday. Oh, was Tuesday. It a, was it a total of five? Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't even know. And we're getting more snow tomorrow. Oh, yay. Okay, guys. So on the outside of the box, we're going to put a strip of tear tape on this little half inch strip right here. Just the little, okay. the little one. The little one, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Now I find it the easiest to flip this over. Oh look, a cat hair. <laughs> Imagine, oh, wow. cause you know, Charlie likes to chew on these. All right, so now we're gonna fold this directly over onto that piece of tape right there and it should sit nice and flat. Okay, <clears throat> this is what our box looks like. This piece right here, so this is the front of our box. This piece right here is where we're gonna put tape on. Okay, so I usually flip this over like this. 
and now I'm going to put a couple strips of tape on that piece, the flap that goes, that flap that's in the front. And what this will do is it'll just give it a nice um, closed edge so that we don't have that open edge towards the front of the box, if that makes sense. Okay. So there we have this. Flip this over and voila. Okay. Now what you can do and see how nice these little tabs are, you just take a little bit off, off each end. Oh, and also I forgot to miter this tab. You're going to want to miter this just a tiny bit. This just makes it easier for it to tuck in to the box. Again, so you don't have that bulk. Yep. And it'll just close in like that. Now, if you do have a corner rounder, of course, you could always round those corners. Now, for here, what I like to do, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. This is a retired punch that we have. It's a one inch. You can use a three quarters of an inch or whatever you have at home. Um, we're just going to stick this in here. And we're just going to make a little thumb hole to make it easier for whoever gets this box. Make it easier for them to open it up. Now, if I put designer series paper on the front of this, um, I would put that on first and then do my punching, okay? So now we have this box. I'm gonna put my little hand sanitizer in it and we're gonna close it up. Close her up there, there we have it, okay? So we went from this to this. From a Halloween to a Christmas. From Halloween to Christmas. And that's what's nice about being a crafter is you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. Right. Just take an idea and put new paper on it. Exactly. So much easier. And that's same with fun folds, you know, fun folds. Um, any kind of card design, the layouts, card ideas. Um, out on Pinterest, people will post um, card sketches. And you can use those, just different paper super easy if you're ever stuck all right guys here i go oh this might be too short for me I'm thinking this might be too short for me to make a bow i'm just thinking we'll see what happens guys all right so i have this yep i'm thinking this is going to be too i'm going to be positive though okay we're going to be positive okay oh i think that's what my trick was what I do is I turn it the same way as the bottom ribbon to get that nice little bow or, you know, that middle uh -huh. part. Tuck this through, grab it and pull. Yep, you guys, I didn't have enough ribbon. I'm going to do this again. I was too busy talking. Car Carolyn said good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I need it. She needs it. She knows I need it. Never enough ribbon. Okay, especially for me. All right, here we go. Let's give it a whirl again. <laughs> hang tight, people. Hang tight. There we go. Now I got some stuff I can work with. Kathleen, what makes making boxes hard for you? I'm curious. I want to know because we like helping. I love making boxes. Well, look at that, guys. I tied it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> well, just hey, you pull, know what I'm gonna pull do? them. Just huh. pull them down. Or I, no, or I got you, an easier way. Oh, she's just going to take it off the box. I'm going to take it off the box, and I'm going to flip it upside down. Carolyn says I know all about bows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. See? Look. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I almost got it. Hold on. There we go. All right. There we go. There. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Almost she's got still it. struggling. Jeez, you guys, I'm telling you. I think she secretly struggled this much when mm -hmm. she was on her own, too. Oh, no, I didn't. Mm. Actually, I did really good when I was on my own. You should show them all the boxes I made. <laughs> Over there. I made some of those bows. Okay. On the boxes you didn't. Yeah, I did. The bow maker. No, on the ones that I tied on the box here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds suspicious. No, nope. not this one. No, those you're thinking of the nugget holders. Oh, Kathy, you're so sweet. She okay. said you two make me smile and laugh. It hello. 
You, you two make me smile and laugh on a cloudy day. You're so Aww. sweet. <laughs> I'm so happy we can bring a smile to your day. Seriously. All right. Somebody made a comment when we were in uh, Texas, and that she was like, oh, you guys are just as cute, adorable in person as you are online. Oh, that was, was so like, sweet. That so was sweet. very sweet. <laughs> okay. Now see if I can get my, my fingers out of the bows. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, the struggle is real. I'm just saying. Only for you. Okay. Maybe. All yeah. right. <laughs> see, now that's a pretty bow. Right, Kayla? That is a very pretty bow. Except I can't get that <laughs> straightened, but we're going to leave it. Okay. So the next thing that I did is I took one of the little um, banner tags or whatever you want to call them out of the kit. Okay. It looks like one of these. There's quite a few of them in there. And all I did is I turned it upside down to stamp on it in the cherry cobbler, which is right here. And I'm going to try not to get my fingers inky with this one, as I tell you. <clears throat> Keyword try. Um, it seems whenever I stamp with red, I always seem to get it all over myself. So I'm going to put this as open me, which is a really cute sentiment, especially for a little box. That's okay. very daring of you to turn that upside down. I know, right? Okay, so there we have that. I'm going to move that over here. Okay. So now, I didn't do really anything fancy with this, you guys. You could pop it up on a dimensional, but all I did is I used glue. Just a little bit of glue on the back side towards the front. And then you could just push this in wherever you want it. And give it a little press down there. And then last, we just add a couple of the rhinestones on there. And voila, we're done. Beautiful. I think the, the, <laughs> the struggle was with the bow for me. Yeah. Um, putting the box together was pretty easy. No surprise. Yeah. And um, I know I had to take your pick tool around here somewhere. Over the rainbow. Oh, there it is. Found it. It was in the box. It was. It Out was. Out of the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. Okay. Just add like a couple of them on there and voila. Ah, cute. Oh, that bow looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, so cute. Much better than this one. Oh, I love it. Too cute. Too All for, right. oh gosh, for cute. Oh gosh. And this bow looks so much better too. Look at that. See, Kayla's correcting me yeah, here. I, I can't see a... where the, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right. You should have made his nose red. You know what? I did, I did initially did put it on his nose for the first one but then it just didn't look right where i put the other ones oh i guess yeah because you know, then he has a random like, red nose on his, his butt nose and then yeah you know <laughs> on his butt just didn't look nice yeah so. God, that's the way it goes you know but if that's your thing i say go for it <laughs> jeez it i don't use enough crumb cake <laughs> so cute very cute said kathleen thanks guys oh, thank you thank you Hey, thanks Thank for you. hanging out with us tonight. Before we go, we have our giveaway that we oh, usually yes, do. Yes. Um, so we are giving away, I couldn't find it. I was trying to find it while mom was going live or while she was, go uh, oh, there it is. It's behind the monitor. Well, I think it is. I, I, I'm pretty sure it yeah, is. Yeah, there it is. I think it is. I have the winner. I just didn't have the, the, there. All right. Okay. So. We do a giveaway every week on our lives. All you have to do is interact in this video in some capacity, and we like to thank you <laughs> in return because it helps us out. So please hit that subscribe button, that follow button if you're watching on Facebook. Um, why? I'm so confused. Oh, it's Charlie. Go figure. Um, Hi, make sure to replay this video so you can see us get scared about the halfway mark. Um, we got grumpy boy Charlie, and then um, he looks grumpy, but he's not. Our little he's a sweet boy. tradition that we like to do around here is that we do a little drum roll before we give away the prize. And so this week it is um, this is what our ribbon shares look like. And so our ribbon share is going to be coming out for the new mini catalog. We are going to start opening that here. Um, probably within the next week for sure. Mm -hmm. um, start taking registration for that. But you get a little sampling of all the new ribbon and all of the new paper um, in the upcoming mini catalog. So this is one from our past one that yep. we had hanging around and we want to give it away. Absolutely. So, we had extra, so we're like, all right. Okay. There we go. So let me get the drum roll. Our little yes, tradition please, that we please. like to do with the drum roll is we like to 
put the drum roll emoji in the comments. <laughs> so please get your drum roll emojis ready while I get the sound ready and make sure we're loud enough yeah. but not too loud. Or, but... you know, don't have everything ready. And... Shh, it's okay. You know, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good? Okay. We're good. All right. Jody's got the drum rolls. Bernays Yay! got the drum rolls. Look at you guys. Is that loud enough? And the winner is, are we, let's just do it here. Uh, sure. Okay. The winner is France, France. Eldridge. Yay. Yay. France. <laughs> congrats. Yay. Congrats, France. Uh, please message us your shipping information and we'll get this off to you. We have to make sure you live in the United States. So that's the only thing. If you don't, then you can get one of our tutorials that we have online for free. Absolutely. Um, we'll do that little exchange there. Um. So... Uh, Mary, I think. Was it Mary? Kathy, I think. Kathy Watson? Yes. W wants Walton. To, I'm Walton sorry. Wants to know, how do you get information about our paper and ribbon share? Subscribing to our newsletter is probably the best way to get to it. Otherwise, following us on social media. Um, our newsletter is in the description of this video, so make sure that you're going there. We always send an announcement out for our paper and ribbon shares. Yes, absolutely. So make sure you're subscribed yep. to that. Also, don't forget that um, the clearance rack has been refreshed. Um, there are items out there that are up to 60% off um, that are retiring from the, the current mini catalog that's current right now. Yep. Um, if you've ever thought about joining, we would love to have you on our team. Um, we do events every month, we do team gatherings, mm -hmm. but right now is really a good time because you can use those clearance items and put it towards your, your starter kit. Um, get more bang for your buck. You do. Get get that big value mm -hmm. while you can. So um, there is no commitment. Mm -mm. Seriously, no commitment. If you decide you don't want to do it, then you can you can leave. Yeah. We have people that do that all the time. So it's yeah. no biggie. No biggie. So. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks hey. for hanging out with us this evening. We will be <laughs> live again next Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So make sure to come hang out with us on Facebook and on YouTube. Yay. Until then... Um, feel free to come hang out with us in our Facebook group. And we will see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.